right, ladies and gentlemen, we're the Beefy Boys, and today we're cooking the Pizza Boy! So, yeah, today we're cooking the Pizza Boy, which is a combination of pizza and burger. Yeah. Coming together. That. You're a fan of this one, Dan? I am. This is one of our, well, it's one of our first ones, right? It's like year one or year two, I think. Yeah, when man. This one first came around. Uh, it is. It is one of the favourite ones, uh, especially the garlic and herb dip. Yes, well, that I is. I have that by itself sometimes. I Not think... just like spoons a bit, but like. A, wow. Yeah. Well, hence the. Yeah. Um, yeah. So like Dan said it's one of the first specials we yep. ever did. When we first opened, it was mainly just normal cheeseburgers, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all the classics we used to do. Yeah. And I think we were working one day, and I think we talked about someone had had a pizza the night before, mm. and we said, "Well, let's do a pizza burger." Obviously, pizza burgers are a thing now. There's lots of places that do them. I'm not saying we invented it. That's, but we did. But yeah, it's for you like we do with everything else. Yeah. And other people just copy. Yeah, yeah. So it's for you to think about whether we did invent it or not. But yeah, lots of places do it now. Um, but we're going to show you how we do it. Yes. One of the first steps is uh, the marinara sauce. If you yeah, can grab that, and uh, we'll show them done. So with the marinara sauce, uh, we make this from scratch in the restaurant, and it's your classic sort of uh, marinara. We take onions. Yep. Finely chopped white onion. Garlic. Yep. Oregano, rosemary, yep. bay leaves, passata, bit of butter, and a pl yeah, plenty of oh, butter. Plenty of butter. I think it's like a whole pack. It's a whole block. Yeah, it's a lot of butter mm. that we uh, that we put in there. A bit of seasoning, and then we whiz it up and we make a lovely marinara sauce. Now this sauce is really really good. Even if yeah. you're going to make pasta or something at home, yeah. um, this is great. Or if you're going to make pizzas, it is. It's a classic sort of base that you get on a pizza. You know, before we put the cheese on it and stuff like that. It's just yeah. a classic sort of base they use. So it's, it's really uh, that that gives it that sort of pizza flavour. Yeah. So that's the marinara sauce. Uh, so you need to make that, and that's a really good recipe. That one you can use on lots of other stuff. Um, and then, like Dan mentioned earlier, we've got the garlic and herb dip. Now, this we make this from scratch as well. Um, and so we did try and base it on, without dropping the names, a very popular pizza chain. We Domino. Try, yeah. So we tried basing it on that, and it works. It does. It does. It's not as dirty as theirs, because theirs is war. Synthetic yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, weird. It's, it's so, it. yeah, so in there we've got mayonnaise, garlic, obviously. Yep. You need garlic and garlic and herb. We've got herb in there. Not the herb, but <laughs> parsley. That'd be great, though. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll get away with that. No. Lemon juice, a bit yep. of Dijon mustard. Yeah. And it's a really good dip, that. It's great, yeah. So I have it just on a burger by itself sometimes. Mm. There, it's a bit of garlic and herb. The classic sort of charky, the grill yep. we used to do, yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. It is. Then, <laughs> right, other elements we've got in there is we've obviously got the pepperoni. Uh, we like to use a nice, high quality uh, pepperoni here. You can see that. Pepperoni. And you can use a cheap one if you want, but, you know, use a good one. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Uh, and then red <laughs> onion, obviously. Yep. High quality red onion. A high quality, only the best. Yeah, only the best red, red onion. onions here yeah. is what we use. And then uh, the other thing which obviously brings it into the realm of sort of pizza-ness is mozzarella. So instead of using grated or anything like that, we like to get the sort of hard mozzarella and we uh, chop it, uh, panko it, and then we're going to deep fry that uh, as well. It's lovely. It is. That's it's good on its own as well. It is, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the staff have that as their star food. Yes. It's deep fried cheese. Deep fried, that's all we allow them to have. Water yeah. and deep fried cheese. Water? Uh, oh, yeah. If they've been good, they're yeah. like that. Right, okay, and we're going to do uh, some patties with it as well. So, so now we're going to toast the buns, and yep. uh, you can use any sort of fat to toast the buns, butter, bacon fat, but today uh, we're going to use beef dripping. Nice, nice, mm. nice. It's good, because like, from the World Food Championships and when we've done like sort of competitions and things like that, you've always got to try and get as much flavour into yeah. uh, the burger as possible, in you? So you're using like rendered beef fat or bacon uh, fat. Bacon fat was the first one to use, wasn't it, I think? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Always adds that extra layer of flavour to your... Uh, mm. Wait, you button, right? Slippery old customer, that one. Right, so get right. those on then, Dan. We'll get those toasted. So, I think for this, we're going to do obviously, I'm going to do one for me, one for you. I know you're a fan of the uh, smash patty. I, I do like a smash patty. You do like a smash, and uh, I'm going to have a thick. If you're having a smash, I'll have a thick. I am uh, a fan of both of them. No. So, Dan does enjoy smashing I a do. patty. I do. do. <laughs> yes. Well, that's the thing, you see. Well, normally, that I just know it's like the. I feel, it's, even though it's the same size, I always feel the smash patty is less in a weird way, if yeah. you know what I mean, I don't know. I know what you mean, they're easier to eat. Yeah, they? that's what it is, I think, yeah. 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 So I'm using our patented uh, burger smashers there. They are available on our website if you would like one. Uh, make a great Christmas present. Yeah. Or yeah. birthday, Father's Day, anything like that. Got a thick patty on, seasoned it up with a bit of our sort of signature seasoning, which is also available on our website. It's starting to be a bit like QVC. It is, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I think the bun's nice and toasted. So we'll get that uh, down there, Daniel. Uh, Tony. Right, cool. And there's your lids. So, first of all, mate, do you want to do the marinara on there? Oh, see, see, see. 
So it's a real sort of versatile sauce, uh, the old marinara. And like I said, it's a great one for you to make at home because there's loads of stuff that you can do with it. And you've got to blitz it as well, because hence the uh, the chunk stop it coming out. It's really annoying. Yeah. If you want to, you could leave it hot if you were doing this at home. We yeah, yeah. we blitz it and put it in a sauce bottle just because obviously at work, you know, it's high volume. We need to get loads of it out. So that's why we do it like that. But um, yeah, if you were home, if you wanted to, you could keep it chunky. Do you want to keep it chunky? <laughs> I can't help it, mate. Right. We're in age. Okay. I can't get it out. Middle age spread. <laughs> right. So, yeah, we've got the uh, pepperoni on top. So, with the cheese for this, we're going to be using Not our me. sort of signature American and uh, Swiss, as you can see on there. Love the. Uh, what's your favourite cheese for a burger, Daniel? I'd have to say uh, American. I like the double American. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's because it doesn't taste cheese. It it's, weird, it's a weird concept. It's, it is cheese, but it tastes. I don't know. But yeah. It's all plastic, isn't it? It's all well, plastic, but it's... That's I, it. We, we talked about this quite a bit before in yeah, the past, yeah. so it's not really real cheese, but it is the best cheese yeah. for a burger. Related. What about yourself, Tone? What would you go for? Depends on the burger. I think, actually, in this one, in the uh, Pizza Boy, it's good to have the Swiss, because it's a bit like mozzarella yeah, yeah. as well. Do you know what I mean? So it's stringy, that, like. You get that sort of pull. So I think on a Pizza Boy, American and Swiss is your best combination. You get mm. the dirty cheeseburger nuts from the American, and then you get the Swiss as well. So we've got that sort of thick patty cooking away. Mm -hmm. So now, Dan, do you want to drop these uh, into the old fryer? So like I said, we've got two um, big chunks of mozzarella there uh, that we're going to sort of drop in. And we're away. Now, if you haven't got a deep fat fryer at home, and I know it's a real pain, uh, deep frying stuff at home sometimes. So if you haven't got that, what you could possibly do would just be maybe use some grated mozzarella, maybe melt it or something. I suppose you could shallow fry them, because the moss patties aren't that thick. You might yeah. be able to get away with a bit of a shallow fry, but... Yeah, in a frying pan. That's probably yeah. the best way to do it if you haven't got a deep fat fryer at home. Or one of those air fryers. Have you tried any of those? I have, actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. Air fryer doesn't chips. look like it, but... Uh, <laughs> well, we eat a lot of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't make a difference if it's uh, air fried, you eat uh, right. everything air fried. <laughs> Are they good? Uh, they're right, yeah. I only had chips in it and stuff, and it's... It is good, but it kind of takes away from the point of having a chip. When it's a healthy chip, what's the point? Does it taste healthy, does it? It does, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. not It's not what you think. Yeah. But if you... you know, if you, yeah, seeing if you're going to have a chip, you might as well go. Well, yeah, go exactly. All yeah, yeah. But it, it is a good little item, but it's. Um, I wouldn't buy one. Yeah? No. Well, so seeing as we're cooking pizzas and we've got a bit of time while that's cooking and while that's cooking, what is your favourite pizza, Dan? I like to create my own. Oh, yeah? I don't I don't muck around with like the meat feasts and all that sort of stuff. Okay. I, like, I like to create my own. So I always have the classic base, yeah. cheese tomato, of course. Always have pepperoni, yeah. mushrooms, red mm, onions, nice. jalapenos. Mm. Um, and I don't mind the black olive. Yeah, I'd like to not live on a pizza, yeah, yeah. That's fully. So, so. Yeah. But I do, that's my sort of go-to every single time. That's, it's nice and easy, yeah. nice and standard. I, yeah, I don't know. The meat pizza are okay, but I don't like the ham yeah, and things yeah. like that, because sometimes, you know... Sometimes I'm, it can be a bit dodgy. It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, that's my, that's my sort of go-to, create your own. Nice. Well, yeah, so, uh, well, my hack, what I usually find with the create your own, is I usually give you one like five toppings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you go for a full house pizza... Yeah. They've usually got about seven or eight toppings on them, yeah. and then you can just swap every single one. Ah, okay, okay. It costs okay. the same money. So that's a little sort of life hack for all of you at home there. If you're on a pizza, go for the full house, and you'll get more toppings so you can adjust. Right. So yeah, very much, I like the I like the beef that you get on the, pizzas. The, 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 the yeah, balls. The, yeah, 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 the meatballs, yeah. They, they do sort of like the Italian beef on there, which is good. Pepperoni, obviously, got yeah, pepperoni yeah, yeah, on yeah. pizza. Uh, peppers, I quite like on pizza as well. I don't mind a pepper, yeah. yeah. Mm. I wouldn't put it on there as choice, but yeah. Yeah, no, it's all good. Right, so we've got a few seconds of that then. Yeah, that's right. all good. Okay, so I think this patty's almost there. Right, so I'm going to flip that one over. We'll get the smash patties ready. Let me just grab a pass as a glove, please, Daniel. Of course, of course, Anthony. Would you like me to put them on for you? No, that's fine, thank you. Be, I don't know how that would work, and it'd be weird. Yes. Right, <laughs> right. okay, so check these on. Right, and then we're going to get the flat smasher. So if you haven't got one of these, which I'd like many of you have, uh, you can use just like two spatulas, press them down, that'll work. Uh, but yeah, these are a good bit of kit. Uh, trowels are good as well, you know, like the ones that builders use and stuff, you can use them potentially. So all right, let's smash it down. Use a builder's trowel? You can use a builder's trowel, yeah. If you want to make sure it's clean, that would be, well, uh, <laughs> that would be a bit of an issue. Less, really, less cement, like. <laughs> You got any kitchen oh, right? I Yeah, I do, mate. Yeah. Cool. There we go. So, all right, these are coming up to the bike ready. I'm going to get the cheese and the lid on the thick patty. Put that on there. All right, we're going to flip this smash. Oh, lovely, Tony. Lovely. Right. It's like you've done that before, my friend. I have done this a fair few times. All right. So, now let's like split the split the cheese on this. 
that's one of the nice things about a smash, isn't it? I mean, you get a cheese in every layer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's good. That's what makes it so awesome, right? Right, here we go then. Okay, so yep. Dan, are the mozzies ready? The mozzies, oh, golden brown tone. Golden brown, that's what you want. If you can get those on the burgers then, mate, and we shall lift these up. Yeah, let's put the glove on, because these are going to be a bit right, toasty. Yeah, through this, I'll check over that. Right. You got it? Yeah, man. Ah, right. So, okay, here's the one tank. Beautiful. I wanted to do, it squishes down a little bit. You get the cheese oh. coming out of it, don't you? Look at that, that's beautiful. Look at the cheese dancing. Right, there we go. <laughs> And here we are with the smash. Right, going down now. Whoa. There we go. Beautiful. So there, ladies and gentlemen, is the Pizza Boy. Right, man. Just, well, yeah. Let's do this. The next best bit. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm going to go for a bit of cheese as well. I think I'm going to get a cheese. There we go. You ready? Three, ready? two, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's bang on. Mm. No, it's so good. No, it's good. One of the forgotten ones, I feel. I don't, I don't have it enough. Mm. But um, it does taste exactly like. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Mm. Oh, dip. Dip. Yeah. Right. This is the garlic and herb dip. This is what takes it to the next level, really. Yeah. Oh man, look at that. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. It's like, it like the best stuffed crust pizza you've ever had. Yeah. It's so good. All right, well, this is a good one for you to try at home. Yep. Nice oh. and simple. Yeah. Or turn to just pop to a restaurant and pay us to do it for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot easier that way. No washing up. True, true, true. Yeah. All yeah. right. Lovely. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers, guys. All the best. The pizza boy. Is it on? Uh, yes, boss. Well, can you see me, Ronald? Yeah. Excellent. Thanks for watching, folks. I'm Tabby. And when I'm not chasing the beefy boys in person, I'm following them all over YouTube. You can too. Just subscribe here. Don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment. Oh, God damn it, Ronald. Sorry, boss.